Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do a screen replacement on an MSI gaming laptop. If your laptop have pixelated screen, fuzzy screen, distorted color, or even cracked screen, then this video would help you replace the LCD screen. So let's go ahead and take a look at the model. If you flip it around at the end, at the back of your computer here, it says GF65 Thin S, sorry, 9 SE 013 US. So if you have the exact same model as mine, the MSI laptop, then continue watching the video. I'll walk you through for the screen replacement. So the first thing, let's go ahead and identify what is happening to my laptop here. So let me turn on the computer. As you can see when the computer turns on, I have fuzzy screen, right? The screen is jumping up and down, it's fuzzy, I can't really see it. It is not cracked, there's nothing wrong to the computer. It just one day, it, it became fuzzy. So here, I will walk you through and how to uh, uh, remove the, the screen and let's get it replaced. All right, so you need to press and hold and shut down the computer. The next step is to remove the bezel. There's no screw or anything holding down the bezel. So, in other words, this bezel here is a clip-on. So it is adhesive tape onto it. At the same time, it's a clip-on. You need to just pry it open by doing so. But be very gentle with it. Try not to break the, uh, the bezel. All right, here comes the challenging part. When it comes to the bottom of the screen, it's a little bit difficult because the adhesive is really, really holding down to the LCD screen. So what I'm doing right now is getting the metal prying tool to get in between that bezel and the LCD and I'm trying to cut that adhesive tape. So I need to cut it. As you can see that the tape is pretty sticky sticking down to the bezel which is this right here so to remove it you just have to cut it cut it apart okay all right once you have done that process now you can just remove the entire bezel and we're gonna save it for later. Let's jump right into removing the LCD screen. And if you take a closer look here at the bottom right corner, you do see that little black double-sided tape here. I apologize, accidentally press and hold the power button. Um, let's turn it back off again. So here is the Oops. Let me see if I can. Uh, looks like, is this the one? I'm not 100% sure if this laptop was actually been replaced in the past, meaning that the LCD, be, LCD been replaced in the past, or this is still the original. Usually what they do is they have this little double-sided tape that is really gooey and is tape, taping down to the computer. Um, you need to remove that in order to remove the LCD screen. So it looks like my one here is double-sided tape on that side of the, uh, uh, if you can see it's that double-sided on that side. So let's go ahead and separate that LCD screen. Uh, there you go. So it does look like this might be the original one. 
I'm not 100% sure on this one, but um, in other words, what I'm trying to say is the LCD screen is double-sided adhesive down by this um, the tape. So to remove it, usually there is a little black thing that is sticking out at the bottom here. You just have to keep pulling that double-sided tape down and that's how you remove the LCD screen. Um, this laptop here might have been uh, the screen might have been replaced in the past I'm not 100% sure uh, if it's not then you just have to do what I did was just separate the LCD screen from the top panel now once you have done with that part let's go ahead and open up the tape slide that 40 pin connector away from your body so slide it out to that direction and there you have it we just remove the entire LCD screen. The next step is to go ahead and identify the model here. If you take a closer look, it says B156HAN13.0. What I'll do is I'll link them in the description below, but you can buy it from Amazon or eBay for the exact same screen for the replacement on this laptop. Also, you do need to have the double-sided tape, which is the red tape here. So the goal is to re-tape, um, re re-double-sided tape adhesive the LCD screen. So assuming that the new screen just came in, I do not have the new screen here with me. I just kind of give you an example. This is the new screen that comes in. The next step you need to do is to um, install the cable that 40 pin cable just slide it back in slide it back in like so and then make sure you kind of tug it in that the cable is securely tucked in and tape it back down the next step is to go ahead and get yourself this double sided tape this is the red double sided tape I got it from Amazon you might want to cut it to a length like you know I don't know like this much so you want to maybe clean off the the old tape and then retape it back to the same line and at this time here I like to stick my tape out right about this much okay so the next person who install the next person who install that new screen or remove that old screen they know that this this is where they can pull the tape off from if that makes sense so you want to make a little um, area for them to identify that hey this this screen was replaced in the past I know that there is an extra tape right there sticking down then they can just pull this off of it all right so just kind of leave a, a that plastic here for the next person to to know that okay so do that do the same that on the other side okay once you have done that of course you need to peel that plastic off once you peel that plastic off re kind of put it put them back together so you just have to stick it back in like so then the LC the new LCD screen would just uh, stick right onto it okay now the bezel you might have the bezel that is not sticky enough anymore because we cut off the tape what you can do is you can uh, get this double-sided tape this is the five millimeter and re-tape it again on the bezel so you can just take it back in all right, so kind of very straightforward and easy to do. I know that I kind of rush in this video here. Um, did not explain well enough, but anyway, um, it should be very straightforward, easy to do for, for the screen re replacement. If you have any question, comment below. I do read your comments. And uh, if you're not sure where to buy them from, go check out uh, link in the description below. You can get it from Amazon or eBay for the screen replacement and also the uh, 
the double-sided red adhesive tape here okay and uh, thanks for watching do not forget to um, smash the like button and, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, if you find this video is helpful please subscribe and comment below thanks for watching bye now